From the Sunkiss Gold Coast, one hour south of Brisbane, we say welcome to the 1991 Daikyo Australian Ladies Masters. Being played once again at picturesque Palm Meadows, a par 74 layout that invites great scoring. Water hazards abound to trap the top players who will experience every emotion as they and spectators alike recall last year's dramatic playoff between Jane Geddes and Crystal Parker. Geddes and Parker are back again, but will they be overshadowed this time by a new face such as US Open and US LPGA champ Meg Mallon? Hello, I'm Gordon Bray, and fine and sunny weather was the menu for day two of the Daikyo Australian Masters at Palm Meadows on the Queensland Gold Coast. Before we reflect on second round highlights, let's look at the overnight leaderboard. And 38-year-old Californian Muffin Spencer Devlin holds a one-stroke lead after a first round of 68, her best of the year. A shot away in second spot, defending champion Jane Geddes of the United States, Mayumi Harasi of Japan and Scotland's Dale Reid. Helena Alfredson of Sweden, minus four, with Australia's main hope, Corinne Dibner shooting a three under 71, Hattori and Lunn at minus two, and Crafter and Alcott firing one under 73s. So let's join second round highlights and we pick up the trio of Harasi, Alfredson and Dibner on the first. And that is a really fine golf swing. Only a youngster of 22 years. And in perfect shape on this par five. Three, Water to the player's left, bamboo to the right. It's quite a challenging opening hole. Helen now this this girl is a very very good player indeed she's won the British Open and uh, she's got a card in America now and there you see she was a winner of the 1991 Hennessy Ladies Cup Queensland Open and runner-up in the Ladies British Open and career earnings at this stage of 270,000 years but a long way to go watch this for a big tall elegant swing Oops. Doesn't like that right shoulder coming high. A lot of players using the three wood to avoid going into the bamboo. And it's a good job she did then. The driver would have taken her right in. A couple of British Open winners in the same group. Corinne Dibner. just playing with the three wood. It's nice to be working with you again, Donna Capone. Love to see you. Thank you, Brian. It's what a pleasure to be here. What a beautiful day. Our conditions tailor-made for golf. Just a light sea breeze to cool it down. Temperature in the high 20s. To me, that would probably be a three, four Could, iron, maybe? Maybe, I think a little longer, perhaps. Yeah. I think that might be two or one, even. Well, it took off right at the stick and she's talking to it a lot. No, it's just turned over in the breeze, but no harm done. Two putts from there for an opening birdie. Nice little Australian bounce there kicking back. That could have just as easily kicked in the left bunker. What do you mean Australian bounce? <laughs> Didn't you ever get any good bounces? No, I'm Italian. <laughs> now, Hirazi, only 22 years old. Very promising player. Had a great five under 69 yesterday. Get up. A little bit short. Well, that's not bad. That, that cup's 12 metres from the front, which is there. So she'd probably have a putt of perhaps some 8 metres and about a 25, 30 footer. Helen hitting the longest drive up this tee. Puts herself in 3 or 4 iron range to the screen. Ball started out right. She's well, trying to get it to turn back. Lots of body English there, isn't there? Oh, no. front right bunker. Yes. Won't have an easy bunker shot either because that green pitches away down to the pin. The first tee, the overnight leader in the Daikyo Australian Ladies Masters Championship following a fine 
six under par, 68 yesterday on the opening day. Will you please welcome from the United States of America, Muffin Spencer Devlin. Here we see career highlights of Muffin winning three events on the LPGA Tour. After having just horrendous 1990 and 91, she uh, has been working very hard on a game the last six months. You know, I think you get to a point where you've played with, she played so well for 10, 12 years, and I think sometimes mentally you lose it. I mean, I, I know as a player, 25 years, I got tired. I had still loved the game, but mentally I couldn't, uh, I couldn't play well. And I've watched a lot of her play this week, and watched her in the fairway this morning, and she's striking it very solidly. The thing that impresses me with all these girls' swings, the very steady head down, they mm -hmm. pivot around a lovely Going set the centre, round, and that was no exception. After five under par, 69 on the opening day, will you please welcome another of our overseas contingent, Scotland, Dale Reed. What a great player this young lady is. My word she is. Oh. You can see a record there. Total 19 victories. I played a number of times with her in Europe and was just so impressed. I mean, you can't say there's one thing that she's better at and the other. She's just overall a good player. And one on for safety. That's what it is, down the right hand side. Good look at the green from also, there, she can reach for two. Third player in the group will be Jane Geddes. You know what I like about Jane, she doesn't mess around, sits up to the ball, got a mind made up, couple of waggles, bang. Goes for it. I think that was her driver she was teeing off with. Watching it very intently. Oof. Ouch. Right in the bamboos. Now Krim Dibna is for Eagle 3. Ooh, left that way short. So she was in the green of the centre of your screen at the front edge and I don't know if she chipped or putted the here but this she's left us up a long one for Birdie Donna. It wasn't one of her better chips or putts, that's mm. for sure. Put in the range of six to eight feet, should swing strongly from her left to right. Oh, what a good one. <laughs> Especially left to right, which are the, the toughest putts to putt. Must have had a good trap shot to get to here. This for her opening four. Could take it to five under. Well, she tried to get it to come from right to left, but it just wouldn't come down. So she remained at four under. <laughs> yes, good birdie, Karim Dibner. Good start. Great start. Four under and only two off the pace. And Jane Geddes, this is where her ball finished. Be we assume that's where a ball finished because she would have dropped wider than that. Well, that's looking from the green back. There's that big clump of bamboos. Dale Reed's second shot. As we're watching Jane getting ready to hit her third shot into the screen. Sounded a little thin. I'm not sure she likes it. Front right bunker, that's why. Well, what a lovely opening Great. iron shot. That is a gem. Wonderful shot. She was holding her pose, so you knew she had a good one. She was watching Even it. Even they watch it intently. Yeah. yeah. And the fourth shot for Jane Geddes.
Very nicely done. Adequate shot. Mm. Adequate shot from there. She had a high lip in front of her. She wanted to make sure that she got it somewhere on the green and not sailing it over. Karen Ty is down following what's happening with Dale Reed. Karen? Yes, well, uh, as Dale was going up to check what type of shot she'd have to make to the green, a spectator came stumbling past trying to sew something to the caddy and knocked it inadvertently with his foot, but she's put it back to where she thinks the ball did land. So ready for the shot now. Playing with a sand wedge, body's wide open. She's going to loft this ball up over the bunker and hope that it'll check. Over the tailwind, it's an unenviable shot. Oh. Well, she lobbed that in the only position you could have lobbed it, Don't to get it near the hole. What a brilliant result. Well, when you win 23 golf tournaments on the European Tour, I'm sure she's had that shot before. Suspect you can see she's aiming well left. Now, pace alone. Well, a good lead. She's left it with a little half a metre uphill pop in. Took a little bend, that one, Donna. Well, I, I'm not sure that it was an easy putt to read with what little nap there is in the green, plus the downhill. She didn't want to let it get too far away from her. Exactly. Oh, good stuff, Gettys. Oh. It reads like five on the card. If Jane keeps her head steady over the ball, that's one key thing that she has to think about when she's putting. If she does not move her head, this woman can make more putts than you can imagine. Now Spencer Devlin for an opening birdie. And this could move it a seven under. That's it. So she's only taken one hole to regain the outright lead. Now a superb pitch shot from across the far side. The green over the traps and this for birdie four. And so Reed will go to six under. Amy Elcott having missed her eagle has this for birdie. At the third, the par five. Good start, Amy. Actually, we can see the ball there. This ball's not plugged. So I should better get this one pretty close. Yes, nicely played shot. Didn't need much more to get it down there right alongside of the hole. That's to save power at the fifth. No, quite a tentative stroke. So she'll drop out of equal second with Dale Reed back to five under. So it often happens, Donna, doesn't it? You, you unfortunately concentrate on your line and your stroke instead of concentrating on the pace of the putt. Again, more the older type of swing with a very upright swing. Not the type that's being taught today, but more on the Jack Nicholas style, which is still very, very functional. The head stays well back in centre as the body goes out beyond the head. And got that ball drawing and turning left with his cross breeze, helping. The ball flew a little longer than she wanted. I also believe that was one too many clubs. Excellent shot from there. Nadine Hall, who is uh, four under. Again, the ball releasing to the back part of the green. The thing I think is amazing about these zebra putters is that when you set the ball, the putter head down, it sets so square, and I think that's why a lot of players like this 
this new uh, putter that was resurrected. Oh, oh goodness. Had a good look. Well, that's one of the mistakes you don't want to make today. The Dean Hall. Really misread her birdie putt. Nicely done. Now back to the eighth. And Mayumi Harazi. Pretty much a straightaway trap shot, no complications to this. Mm, Checked so up, not. but a little late. Must be firm. unlucky that should have moved back a little further right so really three nicely played shots good iron shot short good trap shot a good putt to finish up with a bogey Dale Reed birdied the eighth to join the lead but dropped that shot on 11 Harassi moved to within two shots of the lead with a birdie on nine Dibner birdied nine to move to six under one shot off the pace and she was joined by defending champion Jane Geddes who also birdied the ninth we now pick up play on the 382 meter par five Tenth hole. Oh, back with our leader. Muffin Spencer, that one. This 382 meter par five. Very reachable in two. Seven under par. Ball looks left, I believe. I think it's over by that car path. I'm not positive. Start of the day at five under. And just to remain that way. So she's two off the leader, Spencer Devlin. And now Dibner also for birdie at ten. No trouble with that. And Dibner moves up to five. Brian Craft has stepped out to check on the progress of Jane. Welcome, Jeff Roach. Good afternoon, Stephen. Hi, Donna. Hi, Jeff. I thought I was in here with Murray Walker. You're the only other commentator I know that stands up during the course <laughs> of proceedings, Donna. <laughs> That's a long haul. You're going to stretch the legs, Jeff. <laughs> it certainly is. That is a favourite spot for a lot of golf balls today, that bunker by the side of the 10th green. The pins cut up the front, it's a long green. If they want to get anywhere near it today, they have to go for the green and it's claiming a lot of balls, that bunker on the left side. Now Muffin from the left-hand rough, can't quite tell what type of lie she has, but she's hitting a fairway wood. I would suspect it's her three or four wood. Well, it's green high. It's almost pin high also. <laughs> I still like this woman for the tournament. Jane's going to attack the course more than anybody else. It's the sort of golf course that rewards that sort of endeavor, and I still think she's the player to beat. Jane has hit the ball far left on a number of holes today, and I, I think you're right. She's going to have to start attacking or start hitting some better shots. Yeah, I think she's got some back trouble, Donna. I noticed yesterday for three holes and the late holes yesterday, she was doing some back exercises. Uh, she was getting some assistance uh, with that. And I, she hasn't said anything about it because she wouldn't ever. But I'm sure she's got a little back trouble. Well, having a back problem, I can understand how tough it is to hit golf shots when you have just a little bit of, of back spasms. I said earlier on the telecast, I've played with her a number of times, and I've seen her just do magical work with a one iron and two iron. Now Muffin Spencer Devlin. 
chipping from the fringe for an eagle. This looks like the type of chip shot that you can chip in. True. If you go to chip on the screen, there's not a better spot to do it. Absolutely. Nice shot. Near a certain birdie there. This putt of some 30, 35 feet. Galleries are massive out there today. Isn't that terrific? They are. I've uh, just come off the back nine, just having a look around out there, and uh, the biggest gallery by far earlier in the day was, was Crystal Parker and Nicole Lewin. But there seems to be a spread today. Um, every group has, has a really good, strong gallery behind them. Such great players, sure all right. calibers here, and all nations. Well, as you can see, she pulled it again. And she's really going to have to get herself together now. That's a hole that you should never, ever take six on today if you're a player of Jane's caliber. Nice birdie. So Muffin Spencer Devlin out to eight under, leading by two now. Helen's got this for a par. It's quite a tricky little par. That's a good part. She was worried about it. <laughs> yeah. Twenty thousand dollars at stake on this eleventh hole. She leans on it. That means it's not in good That's shape. Is it right. in the water? Oh. I think it is. Yeah. see the splash but it might be in the water right under the lip there yeah I guess it's probably hit the rocks it could have gone anywhere from there that's where it's such a hard shot because like I said you have to start it out there and that makes it so difficult if it stays there that's gonna happen she really prefers to play the ball from right to left rather than left to right too no. so that makes it even more difficult for her to do now, if there's someone that you would think would get it close on this hole be Dale. Yeah, definitely. The Dale is probably one of the best golfers. I mean, she just hangs in there and she gets it around every time. I guess that probably would have been about a five or a six iron for Dale there. That's a great oh, shot. What a Six's wonderful shot. shot. $20,000 would buy a lot of cheesecake, wouldn't it? That, that was nearly it. Knowing Dale, that would be the furthest thing from her mind. Now Jane Geddes off that dreadful for her bogey on the 10th hole. Taking her time, getting it right here at 11. Two-shot swing on the previous hole. She must sense the chance to get it back here. I think she likes it. Mm. Why not? Why, yeah. They're just two tremendous golf shots today. Very difficult to play that one, Marty. Yeah, but I don't think she got much chance there. Between two rocks and yep. a hard place. <laughs> Any consolation is she can get the ball back. And a few tadpoles at the same time. Yeah. Two-stroke lead that uh, Muffin has built through the first half of this round is looking threatened. Started out right. Yeah. Worked its way That's back. That's a great shot. Great shot. That is a good shot. To the 12th and Alfredson. Second shot. And a beauty. Yeah. That's what I... It's a friendly hole today, Marty. It is. More so than usual. Yeah. That's a tough pin today to get to, though, because you don't realise the greens are getting harder and harder. Off tape, Naomi Harassi. She flirted with the bunker and got away with it. Back 
back at 11 and Jane Geddes lining things up. This could be a very congested leaderboard in a minute or two. And Spencer Devlin drops one at least. Oh, it's not happening for Jane today. Pace was all she lacked then, Marty. That's right, yeah. That was probably the easiest putt you could have for a birdie on that hole today. She really is a marvellous putter. Using the zebra, she said yesterday she was going to write to the president of Ram and tell them what a wonderful instrument it was. Really, yeah. Oh. Maybe she won't. She'll have second thoughts about that now, Jeff. Corinne Dibner at 12. She hasn't hit that, I don't think. And they say 95% of putts that aren't up don't go in. It's true, yep. Dale Reed will be putting for the lead with Spencer Devlin to drop two shots at this hole. Back to six under, Reed shooting for seven. Seven under a two, in fact. <laughs> sort of putt you want in quickly, Marty, or do you finesse it? Well, the bit of both, I think. You want to get it in, you want to get it over and done with, but you've, I mean, you've, got to, you've got to make sure that you've got your line and you've got all your thoughts in your head and you just want to stand there and just bang those ones in. That's exactly what she didn't do. Mm. Yep, she babied that one. It is a little downhill though, I mean it wasn't the easiest of putts. It's a shame. Shares the lead though with Spencer Devlin, who I understand hold out. Here I see sliding one past. Playing with Dibner and Alfredson. Again, an interesting comparison of temperament. She maintains equilibrium under every circumstance. Yeah. The Japanese are like that. You don't see many Japanese who get, you know, overexcited or they just get out there and go about their job. And you never know whether it's good or bad. Birdie putt for Alfredson and she too could join the lead. Looks good. It does. There it is. Three-way tie for the lead. Alfredson, Reed, and Spencer Devlin, six under. It seems strange to me that uh, Alan, with a Mexican fiance, he's the one who's the steadying influence in the <laughs> in the relationship. When you think of the Swedes being more uh, cool. Yeah. <laughs> she said yesterday, maybe if I win here, he uh, we might get married. She said we've been engaged now for four years. It's a it's a world record, I think. And she said, but uh, my fiancé, he is Latin and uh, he is all manana, manana. <laughs> oh, Harassi. bogey and that sometimes seems the difference with the Japanese players at their stage of development Marty they get to a position where they they seem to be there and then the, the nerves or something seem to overtake them a yeah degree, apart from Okamoto of course exactly I don't know what it is with the Japanese maybe at times I think they're just a little bit too cool I think they do well they don't show that they get fired up if they're doing well they just seem to be very level and I think you know you have to get excited and you have to you know really look as though you're enjoying yourself and I, I've never seen any of the Japanese do that.
Come in Dibna for par. Nice she, shot. She stays at five under, just one shot off the lead. And it is a traffic jam now at the top. It certainly is. It's changing every hole. And the leaders board at the Australian Ladies Masters looks this way now with Helen Alfredson of Sweden, Dale Reed of Scotland and Muffin Spencer Devlin from the States, all at six under. At five under, Corinne Dibner of Australia, Jane Geddes of the US, three players at four under, Amy Alcott, Herasi, Jenny Seville, and then at three under, Karen Lunn and Sharon Smyers. Jane Geddes. I'm sure she enjoyed the Rugby World Cup final as much as we did. Certainly did. So North Marty, yeah. sorry, so Marty, you had a five shot uh, difference in today's round to yesterday. Would, how can you compare the conditions, obviously, with, with the greens firming up, but uh, is this breeze about similar to yesterday? Yeah, it's about the same strength. Just today, I, I um, actually, Brian gave me a putting lesson yesterday. I putted atrocious yesterday. I had 40 putts, and today I actually made a couple of putts, which, you know, always helps. Jane's second shot. Huge drive, this hole. That's a great shot. Would bump and run in how well she played it. And if you can be that close to the green, if you can use your length to play that sort of shot, Marty, when the greens are getting hard and tough, it's a, it's a huge advantage. It is, yeah. Second shot to the 13th for Helen Alfredson. That's a oh, that's, good shot there. Oh, that's superb. Corinne Dibner prowls the green. We go to Geddes. Ooh, it's a good birdie there from Jane. And the possibilities continue because if Helen makes this putt, she's the sole leader for birdie at 13. Yep, and there it is. And does it. New leader, Helen Alfredson. Defending champ Jane Geddes made a decisive move with birdies on 13 and 14 to be 8 under after starting the day at 5 under. Spencer Devlin dropped a shot on 14 to be 3 strokes off the pace, while Alfredson of Sweden birdied 15 to share the lead with Geddes. Let's rejoin play on the par 3 17th with American veteran Amy Alcott. I think this is a lovely par 3. Tricky little green at the end too. It's not short, but very, very attractive. 124 meters. Adana, there should be more par threes of this length of the golf course, so players can use a middle to short iron. I suggest Amy has a seven. Certainly economy of action, isn't it? Right at it. Marvellous. Rossi putting for birdie after hitting that tremendous wood into this very difficult par four. This is the sort of birdie putt you just love, don't you, Donna? Absolutely. Straight in and firm. Three beautiful shots. Well-deserved birdie. Parasi to five under and equal fourth. after a superb tee shot at 17, this for birdie two. Well done Amy Alcott, sneaking up that leaderboard, now up to six, equal third. Harassi on this par three seventeenth hole. Settle down. And Harassi running a bit hot. Back to Reed at 16. Reed for birdie to get it to six under. Yes, much needed. So in joint third, and this is Harassi, 17 for birdie. And that's two in two holes. <laughs> Super putt there. 
She has just putted tremendously today. Yeah, she's a good player. Muffin spins to Devlin at 17. Yeah. Come back to Amy in a moment. No, Muffin. And no, she doesn't like it. There. That's why. Mm. That's going to be a tough bunker shot. Yeah, I was just going to say, no it's going to be hard to hold. Alpherson on the par 5 18th hole. You see the palm trees in the middle of your picture? The players are trying to hit it slightly left of that. That's perfect. That looks absolutely perfect. Of course, she's swinging at it good. Oh, got a good hop out of it, too. Yeah, that is long. <laughs> I'm so glad I'm in here and not out there. <laughs> Muffin's going to have to aim way up on the left side and just land this ball just on the green to get it anywhere near exactly. the hole. Oh. Oh. That's just about the best that she could do exactly. from that spot. Kareem Dibner. Oh. This could be a driving contest on this hole. Yeah, I think so. Well, that one didn't take that hop. Yeah. <laughs> Mayumi Harasi playing with Alfredson and Dibner. That's a nice swing to watch. Sure is. Not as long as the others. Huh? Now Jane Geddes also has just about the same line, but not quite as long as Dale's putt. You've got a good read off of Dale's, too. Right. See what she does here. Oh, super. Oh. Yes. What a great putt. Well, she read the borrow just right. <laughs> Jane Geddes, new leader. Stop that, Jane. <laughs> <laughs> This is the best that she could do from where she was. Maybe that putt's a little bit longer. Maybe eight, ten feet. Yeah. This to save a par. Oh, no. She put a good run on that one. It's right where she had to put it. Now muffin. This tap in for a bogey. Disappointing after hitting such a great putt. This is Harassi. Yeah, 210, 20 yards from that area. Yeah, oh, she's, she's probably 195. Yeah. Okay. This will stretch it. Oh, oh boy, oh, just. Karen Dibner. an iron in there and pin high or a little beyond. Great shot from there. That was a super shot. Good opportunity to eagle here. Get her right back into it. She will play the ball to move from left to right. See how she's aimed slightly left of the pin. Looks like she pulled it more than yeah, anything. Yeah, it sure does. Oh, what a kick. Settle down, ball. That's a longish eagle putt. <laughs> a little body English on that shot. Jane Geddes, 18th hole. Perfect hole for her nice little...